Okay. Demi, it's been a day. When you, <laughs> let's just, actually, let's start back from yesterday because yesterday we saw the tweet from Good Morning America. There were all these rumors. There was all this speculation. At that point, did you know what was going to happen? Um, I had no idea what was going on. I've kind of been uh, staying offline for the most part. I get on just to put out some content, but I've just been kind of staying offline for my mental health and whatnot mm -hmm. and just trying to uh, be a more productive adult, so to speak. And um, I got a call from somebody, and I'm not going to say who, but they were like, you're not going to believe what's going to happen tomorrow. And I was like, what? And I like kind of ignored it. And they were calling me. They're like, no, you need to call me. And then they called me and they told me. And I was like, what? I was like, no way. So I, I knew that it was going to come out today, but it's it was very like still shocking to me. Like I I, I like did not believe it at first. <laughs> I it it was shocking. I'm not going to say I didn't believe it, but I I it was it was shocking. I think for me and the way that it was all done and the way it came about. Um, are you? Do you still talk to Colton? No, I actually just realized he had unfollowed me. And I oh. think it's because <laughs> I was team Cassie, you know, during all of that, because Cassie's my girl. And I do still hold him accountable for what he had done to Cassie. And, you know, there's like articles of where I called him petty and whatnot, but him unfollowing me is petty again. So, yeah. Um, I will agree. And I also think that it's, it's interesting that you do bring up Cassie because her name, I think, Maybe she's getting a little lost in all of this. And I'm just curious, have you reached out to her? Is she doing okay right now? Because this is a lot, it, it impacts her as well. Exactly, I think it's important that people remember or like remember that she was very hurt in all of the situation and like her feelings like this, uh, I'm very proud of Colton for you know coming out with his sexuality, but it does not take away from the accountability that we still hold him for how he treated Cassie and what happened with her. Um, I've reached out to her. I know she's probably getting bombarded right now, but I just told her, like, talk to me whenever you're ready. And, you know, I'm just waiting for her to come to me whenever she wants to. Like, I know she's probably going through so much with all of this right now. So I really feel for her, and I don't want anyone to forget about her in this situation. I'm really glad you said that because I don't want people to forget about her either. And I can only imagine what she's going through. And I'm glad that she has supportive friends like you. And I'm hoping that she's surrounding herself with family and friends as well who can continue to do that for her and see her through this time. It seems like a lot of the women from Colton's season, though, have put out some supportive tweets. You've done so as well. Um, what's the mood like with the women from the season? Shocked? Surprised? Relieved? I don't know, because it's he did apologize to you all because you were a part of his season when he was pursuing something that wasn't really his truth. Um, from the women, I think that um, everyone is supportive of him because, uh, like, my close group of girls from my season and stuff, they know how hard it was for me whenever I came out and, like, how much it really, it, it's really hard. And it it's very uncomfortable and it's, scary and all the things so they support that and are proud of him for doing that but they also did not forget what he did to Cassie as well like those are mm -hmm. two separate things you know like you can be proud of someone for one thing but also hold someone accountable for another thing absolutely do you feel like it, did you watch the interview with Robin Roberts yeah do you feel like he addressed they are two separate things you're absolutely right he clearly addressed one because there was an announcement being made do you feel like he addressed the other I think that he could have done a better job. Like, I know he apologized and whatnot to her, but I think that um, there's more to be, maybe more to be said, uh, you know, just like, uh, not owning it, but just say something more than just like, I'm sorry to Cassie. Like, it's more than just an apology. It needs to have like ownership in it of like your actions. Cause like whenever you do something wrong, I can forgive anyone, like I forgive people, but you have to like acknowledge the specific things that you've done in order for me to forgive you. You can't just say, I'm sorry for everything. Like, no, mm -hmm. you need to be specific because those things hurt somebody in a very serious way. And yeah, so he could have done better, but um, I mean, at least he said sorry, I guess. Like, I don't know. Well, I would imagine that you personally know how deeply rooted it is because you're friends with Cassie. So you know the actual impact it had on the victim in this situation. Yes, absolutely. And Cassie is 
an angel and she's you know she's one of the biggest surprises that came out of my season for me um because during our season like we would have fun together and like we were we were cool but afterwards like cassie's the one who shows up like Mm. some of my closest friends didn't come to like you know just something as petty as like my birthday but cassie was there you know katie's one of my closest friends katie hosts events none of the other girls are there me and cassie are there like cassie shows up right um, I've, I've only met Cassie once. We had a lovely time in Miami. It was, it was fun. So <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's the extent of, of my uh, knowing Cassie, but I would love to get to know her better. Um, one of the reasons that I specifically wanted to talk to you is because you're uniquely positioned within Bachelor Nation. You know, you yourself have made your own announcement in Bachelor Nation. We saw you have a relationship. You're a, a part of the LGBTQ plus community. You were also a contestant on Colton's season. How do you feel Bachelor Nation will accept him? And can you speak a little bit about the courage and the bravery it takes to make that type of announcement in today's world? That is something that I, I definitely commend Colton on is that uh, it was very hard for me. It's terrifying. And Bachelor Nation, as far as the fan base, a lot of them are not very accepting of uh, different things. They're not accepting, you know, uh, some of them have just been used to the same old ways that, you know, like man and woman, they're used to that. So yeah. whenever you had woman on woman, it was a nightmare for me. I was disappointing everyone. People were very upset with me but I could take it. And I was like, you know, it's, it's not that like, it's bad, but it's not that bad. But like, I really feel for Colton because it must be really, really hard for him because there are so many people in the fan base that are just uh, very ugly about different things like that, about anything that's different or unfamiliar to them and they can't relate to. So I can't imagine how scary it must be to be like, yeah, you know what? I was a bachelor. I dated 30 women and I'm still going to come out here and say, you know what? I figured out that I am gay. Like that is hard. So yeah. I definitely feel for him right now. Did you hear about the Netflix series that was announced shortly after his appearance on Good Morning America? Had you heard about that before? Do you know any details? I don't know any details about it. I vaguely heard a little bit about it. I'm really not sure like what it's going to be about. I'm assuming maybe it's about his journey to finding himself or coming out or something like that or uh, you know, Colton's kind of been silent for a while on social media, so I don't feel like any of us really have known what he's been up to. But uh, I look forward to watching it and seeing what's been going through his head because he, he did some things that, you know, hopefully he addresses the things that he's done to Cassie and whatnot. But I I can tell that he's been on a really hard journey and mm-hmm. uh, he's done some things he shouldn't have done and maybe he has an opportunity to show the world why he was behaving that way. I mean, it doesn't make it right, but maybe there's some kind of explanation so we can make sense of it. Yeah. Do you, if he asked you to be a part of the documentary, because it's my understanding it's in production right now, it's, it's being filmed. I think it's started, but it's still ongoing. If he asked you to be a part of it, would you do that? Hmm, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, would probably have to have a conversation with him first and be like, uh, you know, cause like I said, Cassie's one of my good friends. I respect Cassie a lot. So I'd want to make yeah. sure that it remained respectful to her. And I'd be like, I will only like be a part of this. If I know that you're acknowledging what you've done to her and like apologizing for that and like, you know, uh, making it up to her, like in any way that you can try to, I know it'll probably never make up for it, but that would be my biggest thing. It's just making sure I'm respecting my friend uh, and like I said, I'm very proud of him for like coming out and stuff, but you know, there's other issues that are going on there still. You're a good friend, Demi. That's exactly how I would be as well, just to put it out there. Okay, last question. Last question. Knowing that like going through what you've been through on the, uh, in Bachelor Nation and being on Bachelor in Paradise specifically, and now with Colton's announcement, should they have a lead, whether it's Bachelor or Bachelorette, that's a part of the LGBTQ plus community. Is it time? Yes, it's time. Make me the bachelorette. Jeez, <laughs> come on. <laughs> no, no, but really, I think it is time. And I know so many people say, like, if you had a gay bachelor, gay bachelorette, all the contestants would hook up with each other. And I'm like, that's not the case because whenever you're in that environment, you're there for the person and you want to be like, it, you get competitive. So like you want that one person. And if you are hooking up with each other, it's just like, okay, well then y'all can leave. Like, bye, like right. easy enough. Like, I don't even have to worry about who I'm not going to give a rose to because 
y'all could just leave. It's also just a terrible assumption to make. I know, everyone's just so cynical these days. But I know that the gay community definitely wants a gay bachelor. They all are, they're like, tell them to make a gay bachelor, or a gay bachelorette, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, do you think I have any say here? I don't have any say, I would have been the bachelorette by now. Listen, it can happen. It can happen. We never thought we'd wake up this morning and we would hear the news that we heard today. So, Demi, your time may be coming. Demi for Bachelorette. Let's start it here. You know I would, I would be all up on that season to support you. You know that. I'd be like, I want Rachel to host every day. <laughs> Demi. <laughs> okay, Demi, it's been so great to talk to you. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by for being honest and um, we hope to see you on a TV screen near us very soon. Oh, thank mm -hmm. you for having me. I love you, babes. Love you too. Bye. <laughs> thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.